Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am going to show you how to type Arabic language or Hebrew language in Photoshop 7 Middle East version. Okay, if you are installing a normal Photoshop 7, you may, you may be not type Arabic language. So it is better to download and install Photoshop 7 Middle East version. Okay, if you are using a latest version of Photoshop, uh, that is easier to type in Arabic language. That is different case. But here I am explaining how to type Arabic in Photoshop 7.0 Middle East version. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe now and enable the bell icon for new video notifications. You can see here in this uh, option, here you can see about Photoshop ME. Okay. It is showing Photoshop 7.0 ME. Okay. So uh, here we have to type Arabic language. Okay, now I will use the text tool and I will select font size. Okay, here and I will try to type Muhammad. But it is typing in English, okay, no Arabic. Here uh, you have to make sure that you are typing in Arabic language, okay. Here you can see now the default language is English, okay. You have to choose the Arabic language. You can use Alt, Shift, or uh, Shift spacebar uh, depending upon your computer, okay. You can uh, use Alt and Shift together to switch between the input language. If you don't have this Arabic input language, you can go to control panel for that uh, press Windows and R key together and here type control. There you can go to this uh, clock and region. Then go to this region again. And make sure that all the formats are in Arabic. Okay, here I will choose Arabic Kuwait from the format. And in administrative also, you have to uh, use the system local, uh, local language as the Arabic Kuwait. Okay, if it is different, if it is uh, United State English or something like that, you can click here and you can change it to Arabic Kuwait from here. Okay. If you do so, uh, you can use Arabic language and English language together. Okay. In Windows 7, you can see one, some additional option also. For that, uh, you can see additional languages, input language tools also. Okay. You can choose the keyboard layout and you have to add Arabic Kuwait uh, language for typing. Okay, you can do that also in if you are using uh, older Windows versions like Windows 7 or AXP like that. Okay, now I already have installed Arabic language. So if I choose this Arabic language and try to try to type Arabic Muhammad. You can see here all the text is not joined. Okay, it is all the text are showing separately. So it is not good, it should be proper, otherwise there is no use to type in Arabic like this, okay. So uh, how to fix this problem? It is very easy, okay. You just have to use proper font, that's it, okay. You can see here, by default, if it is selected as Arial or any uh, Times New Roman or any other font, you have to, you have to choose Arabic font. Okay, here I have a okay, traditional Arabic. You can see now it is showing us proper Muhammad. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't know how to type Arabic. Okay, I am just trying. Okay, I will uh, again try to type this one Muhammad. Okay. Okay, now you can type Arabic normally. Okay. 
you can see all the texts are coming properly okay but one more thing if you don't have this uh, traditional arabic font you can download arabic fonts i already downloaded and installed some arabic fonts from here and you can find some of the fonts will support in photoshop and some other arabic font will not support properly so you have to choose the proper arabic fonts i hope this video is useful for you if you like this video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel